well, women and girls are the center of families and they are the center of communities. And uh, when there is any development or any changes, it impacts women first. And, and if we keep women healthy, we are likely to keep the family healthy and we are likely also to keep a community healthy. You know, women are the connectors to all the infrastructure in a city. They are the connectors to access in healthcare, to schools, to community activities. And therefore, reaching women and designing communities from their perspective is likely to increase the potential of their staying healthy. Well, I think most of the countries are moving into more urban areas, and most of the people are moving into urban areas. In fact, by the year uh, 2015, half the world is going to be urban, and by, uh, by the year 2030, two-thirds of, of the world is going to be urban. Now, there are about 20, 30 percent of urban areas are usually poor areas and slum areas, and 70 to 80 percent of those areas are usually women. People who live in those areas are usually women. So it makes sense that we need to look at some of the issues that are going to arise because of becoming urban areas in terms of access to health care and access to healthy food and access to transportation. This is a, a golden moment for making changes related to women's health and urbanization and women's health. Many organizations are beginning to focus on that. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton is making women's health the center of foreign policy. CARE, which is a humanitarian, humanitarian organization, uh, are making empowerment of women as central to, uh, to the entire humanitarian action. The, the Senate and the Congress have a commission on women's health. The White House has a commission on women's health. So it's obvious that we are seeing that women as the center of the family and the community, we've got to give attention to them. That's going to improve the community and it's going to improve our global relationships. A tidal wave of interest in women's health and uh, of, of better design for the infrastructure that will keep women safe and will keep them engaged in their community and provide them with the opportunities to get uh, the right nutrition and the right food for their families by having access to health care, access to uh, nutritious food, access to schools, and most importantly, that they would, we would design communities and urban areas where women feel safe to live in it. The very long-term vision is that as we become more urbanized and as women move into urban areas, they move into urban areas that have been designed from a gender perspective, where it is safe for them and their families to live, where they are able to access nutritious food, and where they are able to access education for themselves and their children. I think what is going to be really important is for scholars in different fields to work together and interdisciplinary uh, to develop the knowledge that's needed to be translated into creating those wonderful communities that are responsive to women's needs in different countries. Our goals actually for the online community uh, uh, is to keep a group of people who are have, have different expertise and come from different countries engage in the dialogue by helping each other actually move the dialogue further to uh, implement best practices in their own community. People need a community and a network to be empowered to continue to do the work that will begin as, uh, as, as people think about uh, cities and women's health. So this is a resource for people with each other to ask questions, to get some answers, uh, to partner and collaborate in research, to partner and collaborate in writing about 
what is going on in, in their own community related to women's health and urbanization and share it with each other.